Hi, this is Rock and Robin. Welcome. You are on Rock and Robin's Garage Sale Finds, the YouTube channel that helps resellers make more money. And today is Bolo Day. At least once a month, I try to have Bolo Days where I talk about 10 Bolos that I think maybe you can go out there and find. I can give you tips and secrets about them. Maybe something you don't know, but something it's going to help you make more money. Because if you find one of these Bolos, you're going to be really, really happy. And I try to do this once a month. Sometimes I do it twice a month. It all depends what kind of good Bolos that I find. Well, if this is your first time here, we sell on eBay. We've been selling on eBay for over 20 years. We sell on Mercari. We sell on Poshmark. We sell on Facebook Marketplace. And yes, we sell at the flea market and flea market season is coming soon. October 1st is our first flea market of the fall season. So let's uh, take a break and we'll be right back and we're gonna give you the 10 bolos. You stay with us. <music> Welcome back. Well, 10 bolos. So we're gonna start with number one. We're gonna go from lowest cost to highest cost. And the first one is something that I collect. Disney Lounge Fly Backpacks. This one is a Sleeping Beauty and it sold for $1,700. Now I have seven Lounge Fly pieces and I love my Disney Lounge Fly and I've just started collecting and I have some nice, really nice pieces and they, I use some and some I just, I can't use yet because they're so cool and I don't wanna ruin them. So I have them, but I don't have anything worth $1,700. Now, when you go out there and you go searching through purses, look for Lounge Flight and look for Disney and they're usually worth some good money if they're in good shape. This one was $1,700, maybe you'll only get 90. So buy accordingly, but anywhere from $90 to $1,700, not a bad find. Item number two, we're sticking with the theme, Mickey Mouse. This is a Mickey Mouse Swarovski piece. Now, I found several of these that were not Swarovski. I had some Chip and Dale, and I saw them for over $100 a piece, and I bought them at a garage sale, I think for $10 each, and they were really nice, and I was tempted to keep them, but I didn't, and they were Swarovski Mickey Mouse. They're like an inch, two inches maybe, so keep your eyes out. They can be worth up to $1,850. Who knows? Prices are always going up on Swarovski, so always keep your eye out. So number three. Number three is something that I used to buy a lot when I used to go to auctions. I used to go to tons of auctions when I was in Connecticut, and I was always looking for Royal Daltons. Well, this red flambe schnauzer, and I have a schnauzer mix puppy, so I keep my eyes out for schnauzer, sold for $1,900. If you don't know anything about um figurines and your new Royal Dalton is one you need to write down. It's great for beginners to always look for that name. Now they're not all worth $1,900. Uh, I think the highest I've ever sold one for is like $400, but they can sell for anywhere from $30 and up. So look them up, but look for Royal Daltons, especially if you're new, you probably never heard of it, but uh, most of us have. Now, number four, a Green Lantern lunchbox. I love Green Lantern, and I recently saw the Green Lantern car that was in the movie. That's on my other video, uh, Rockin' Robin 103. If you're interested in that, go there. And this lunchbox sold for $3,200. I love it. I love it. I'm always looking for lunchboxes, and I always think they're valued at maybe $100, $150. Well, some are valued for more, so look for good condition, old 1950s, 60s, 70s, and probably even some 80s. So lunchboxes can be a good thing to try to find and collect and resell. So now we're looking at number five. Number five, uh, number five and six kind of go together, but they're separate. Five is Star Wars Legos 2003 Cloud City. So for $4,500. I see Lego sets all the time and I don't know what they're worth. And if somebody says asks more than $5, I usually don't buy them because I don't know what they're selling for. But you need to pick them up and look them up because Lego sets are valuable. And I know they're valuable, but I never know how valuable. Whenever I do buy one, it never sells for more than like $25. So you have to look them up. This 
this was only 2003 so you never know what you're going to find there's other ones out there and uh 4500 is a great profit so number six i said five and six go together well this is also legos this is a rare star wars lego Beb boba fett boba fett keychain they recently had the uh, series on disney plus that features boba fett and uh, I think that's why he's becoming so popular. So if you find the keychain, you might just get $5,000. So who would have thought on a keychain with Boba Fett? You never know. I think a good idea is if you find any of these for cheap, hold on to them because you never know who the next series is going to be about. And maybe they're going to be about the person that's going to be worth $5,000. So keep your eyes open. All right, number seven. When I was a kid, I used to go here for pizza. Chuck E. Cheese. Now, this is a Chuck E. Cheese window. So, for $5,600. One reason I want to show you this is because you just never know. If you find something vintage, a vintage store, a vintage anything, it's always good to pick it up if it's reasonably priced. Because you just never know. Who would think a window from Chuck E. Cheese would be worth $5,000? You never know. You see something usual, grab it. All right, number eight. This is an Atari game. I always tell you to pick up games, look at games. You got to look at something different. This is a 1983 Atari game that's Halloween, sold for over $10,000. Now, this is brand new. This one's rare. This one's mint. But you never know what you're going to see. You might see something else, something different, that's similar and rare and mint and worth money. There's other ones that are great. Maybe you'll never find this exact one, like I said, but you don't know what you're going to find. So you have to keep your eyes open on video games especially things like that all right well i have two more to go and before i go to those two i want to tell you if you enjoy looking at bolos and we do them once a month please remember to subscribe to our channel we really really appreciate that next give us a big thumbs up like that and lastly if you hit the bell what happens is you're notified when we have other videos so, all right, I got that out of the way. Let's get back to the last two, number nine and 10. Number nine is a 1931 Frankenstein movie poster worth $14,000. Now, you know, there's movie posters all over the place and I've seen a lot of old movie posters and I never pick them up. I don't really say, I don't really know much about it, but now I'm going to. This is 1931, and yes, it's old, it's hard to find, but I am sure that there's ones from the 70s and 80s and 90s and maybe even 2000 that are worth money or going to be worth money. So uh, you never know what you'll see out there. Maybe not Frankenstein, but who knows? Grab movie posters, look for them. They can sell for big money, and this one was 14000 Now the last one, you ready? Da -da -da -da. I always look for bags, but I've never seen one of these. A Chanel crocodile bag, $20,000 and so forth. Now, you know, I, I pick up a lot of bags and I have a couple crocodile bags and I can't sell them for $20. I don't know why people don't want them, but this one, I guess it's Chanel. I guess it's in the condition. I don't know, but continue to look for Chanel. It's one of the names, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, big names like that will get you big money, especially on bags. So this is Rockin' Robin. I hope that showing you these bolos is going to give you some tips, some secrets, some ideas that's going to help you make more money because that's our goal all the time. What I want you to do right now is I want you to go find one of those. Find one of those or find one of the other bolos. Look at all my other bolo ones, uh, videos that I have out, and maybe one of those is going to be something you can catch. But go out there, find yourself a bolo, put a comment on my page, what bolo you have already found and which one you want to find. And then you go out there, you make yourself some money. See you soon.